Hello friends, welcome to my channel, my Silparag Dambulkar. In this video, we will see SOP assertions in TestMG framework. Also, we will see difference between assertions and SOP assertions. Now see, here we have one example. So here I have written program 1.java and here we have only one test case. And this program 1.java I have mentioned in this XML file. Here I have mentioned my test is package name and program 1 is class name. Now see, here I have written normal assertion statement. Okay, so already in one of our video, we have seen assertion, how to use assertion. So that assertions I have mentioned here. Now see, so what we are doing here, we are printing one message and then we have assertion statement. So assert is class and we are calling this method assert true. This is actual value and this is expected value. So in this case, test case will get fail. Now see next again we have one statement admission login to and again here we are checking the condition. So again uh, this true and false they are not matching that's why our test case will get failed. Then we are printing admission login 3. So see admission login 1, admission login 2, admission login 3 and again we have assertion statement. So again it is not matching so our test case get failed. Now see after that again we are printing admission login 4. Now see we will run our code. And we'll see what is the output that we get. So see, here we got output admission login one, admission login one from this statement. So only this statement got run, right? After that, assertions got failed, right? Our test case got failed because of that. These all these statements are neglected. These statements are not run, right? These statements are skipped. And that is disadvantage of normal assertion. But what we want, we want output of all these statements. Though this condition is getting failed, but what we want, we want output of all the statements. Though this test case is getting failed in one of our assertion statement. And for this purpose, we have to use soft assertion. Now see how to use it. For soft assertions, we have to use one class soft assert. See here we have used class assert right and for soft assertion we have to use class soft assert soft assert it should be capital soft assert now see we'll create one object a is equal to new soft assert okay see here we have created one object it is showing red line we will import package for this okay now see instead of using this normal assertion what we'll do here we'll call this assert true method same assert true method now see same thing we'll do a dot and same thing we'll mention there here also we'll do same thing and this statement will make it comment here we'll call this right now see so instead of normal assertion what we are doing we are using object of soft assert and by that we are calling this methods assert true so in this case also it is not getting match and because of that our test case will get failed right here also it will get failed and here also it will get failed right but in soft assertion it will not stop execution of the test case at this point okay it will allow to execute all the statements and after that one more thing that we have to do after this at the end of this test case we have to collect result of all the test cases and for that again we have to call one more method that is assert all so what assert all will do it will collect output of all these assertion statements because of any assertion statement if our test case is getting filled so overall the test case will get filled but we'll get the output in whatever the in between statements are there so that output we will get now see we'll run our code so see our test case got filled right because see here in this case test case is getting filled right but here we got all the output right admission login 1 admission login 2 admission login 3 admission login 4 so this is the advantage of soft assertion so see normal assertion that we use 
if you use this so whenever the condition is getting filled so it will stop execution of that test case at that point suppose our test case is not getting filled at this point but suppose it is getting filled at this point so in normal assertion this part will get executed and at this point it will stop the execution of the test case and remaining statement it will not execute right but if you want all statements should get executed and after that we want to check whether that test case is failed or not so that thing we can do by using soft assertion or by using this soft assert class so this is soft assertion in testng framework i will provide this program code in my blog post and that blog post link i will provide in description box so friends i hope you like this video if it is then click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you